Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to set up a trading bot on Qcoin that trades crypto for you 24-7 regardless of market direction. You can make money if the coin goes up or down while you wait for the trade to reach your target price. This means you can make money with all the price fluctuations, especially if there is a lot of volatility in the market. It is a really simple way of earning returns, but you do need to take into account a few things like risk, leverage, and you need to learn about the specific parameters that will influence the way the bot behaves. Let me break it all down for you, let's get into it. All right, so what's Qcoin bot trading strategy? So it's actually what's known as a grid trading strategy. And you can see here is, uh, I have Bitcoin and it looks like a grid. The grid represents price targets that are predefined. So the idea is that in grid trading, every time one of these price targets get hit, the bot executes an order for you. And why, why it does that? Well, let's say we want to buy and trade Bitcoin and we believe Bitcoin, we are, we are right now we are at 26,300. And we believe Bitcoin is gonna reach 30,000, right? So instead of just waiting and waiting for Bitcoin of, and goes up and down, goes up and down, it may never hit 30,000, I don't know. Let's say we're talking about the next three months. I don't know, it may or it may go even out of range. But uh, instead of just waiting, we will. the boy is gonna start trading all that time that the, the price goes up and down. So we're gonna start maximizing our profit and if it even hits that price target, we're going to get more uh, profits given the difference between the initial buy and the, and the last sell. So um, this is a way of maximizing profits in a volatile market. That's, that's the idea of, of grid trading. Now, there are two sides of, of the trade that you can be on. You can either set up a bot trading um, long strategy or short strategy. In the long strategy, the bot is going to buy low every time it hits one of these lines going down it's gonna buy 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 and it's gonna when it, it goes up it's gonna sell 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 and take profits or you can do a short and the bot is gonna sell and sell 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 in the way up taking shorts and it's gonna buy 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 and buy to, uh, or buy to cover in this case for a short and take profits on the way down so it's the opposite so that's one of the main benefits of using a bot that trades on a grid market on the futures market. Uh, you can benefit from this strategy on both sides, either going up or down. So that's one of the benefits versus the spot market where uh, you just benefit from long position. There's no short, you know, only benefit when going to go that up. Uh, there's no uh, margin or there's no leverage. So this strategy works for the futures grid and that's what we're going to be uh, covering today. That's the general idea. I'll go into detail on how to set it up and how you manage it. All right, so what's the first step to take uh, to start trading using the bot strategy? Well, first you need to have funds in your main account. I already, I'm already trading them, so I'll show you in a minute. But you need to have funds in your main uh, funding account here. From there, you wanna transfer them to the trading account. That's the account we're gonna use to use the bot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say transfer and you say from trading account and you're gonna deposit USDT because you're going to be trading in the futures market and the futures markets use you use the the future or the underlying um, asset which is the crypto with the pair USDT uh, so you need to have USDT transferred to your main and then to the trading account all right then you're going to go to trade and you're going to say trading bot here you hit trading bot and then you're going to get the um futures trading account here, so it says futures. What's the difference between the futures and the spot? All right, so futures is a actual contract. You don't own the, the actual underlying asset. You just, in this case, you have the, the main contract, which are BTC or, or Bitcoin Perpetual. You know, it's a constant contract that is no interruption uh, versus USDT. And you have ETH, ARPA, and you have all of this here. You can sort it by volume, price, or volatility. In the futures account, you can trade either, like I explained before, either on the long side, you can buy, uh, hold the position and sell high, or you can short, take a short position and just sell and then buy to cover it when it goes uh, down. So you can benefit and you can actually make money even if it goes down or if it goes up. So you choose. 
the way you want or, or the bias of the way you want the, the, the crypto, you believe the crypto is going to behave. In the spot market, you don't have that. You just take a long position. You just hope to you know buy low and then um, uh, sell high at one point in the future. So that's that's the main idea of the of the spot. And there is no uh, in the in the spot mark, uh, account in the spot grid. There is no margin. There's no margin. It's just you know it's just uh, you just buy whatever you have uh, and and that's it. One to one. In the futures grid, we have what is called uh, leverage. So in leverage, uh, and I'll show you in a minute here, my grid goes, uh, all right, in leverage, you have, you can do either uh, one, one, two, two X, three X, four X, five X, and so on. It means that uh, you're borrowing money to make more profit. And we'll go in detail how to set it up, but um, it also carries some risk, right? The more you borrow, uh, you can make more profits, but it's, it's easy to get uh, exit out of the of the transaction or get liquidated. So you don't want to ever get into that situation. All right. And if you decide this is the right strategy for you and you want to maximize your profits while you wait for your price targets, um, go to the futures grid. Then we are select the asset. How do you select the asset? Well, I tend to select the assets that have a lot of volume. So I, I, I sort them by volume, but you can also sort them by volatility. Like if you want to trade a volatile asset like that one, that's the highest right now. You see it has a lot of price uh, up and downs. And let's see a five minute chart. Um, so depending on the volatility, uh, crypto that moves up and down generates a lot of uh, grid trades, right? Uh, so you have more more, more uh, returns, uh, but it's also more riskier. So, so I tend to use the, the highest volume. I'm just trading ETH right now, but you can try the volatile one and you can sort by volatile. So right now, uh, ETH is uh, a low vol, it's 4.289. Bitcoin is 3.83 in terms of volatile. So we are not going to make much money on the on the actual grid. Let's say I started uh, six hours ago. I already made uh, from the grid trading 55 cents on this and the unrealized uh, profits and losses, $10 unrealized from the point I've bought till the price of uh, of the asset that is right now, I made $10. So. That's the first thing you got you to gotta choose. What asset you want to try or what crypto you want to choose. All right, next go to the right panel here and you're going to define all the parameters for this strategy. It's either auto or custom. Auto is everything is predefined for you. You don't need to do anything custom. Uh, you define everything. In the auto, uh, it says here, uh, the futures grid bot, bot buys lows and sells high within the price range. Once the price is out of the range, the bot will stop trading. So, it's not going to be any more uh, bot executing any more trade any any more trades outside this price range. It's already pretty fine for you. This is the total number of trades. This is the profit that you're going to make that the boy is going to be making 0.56 uh, between 0.56 and 0.84 percent uh, with the fees deducted every time one of these lines get hit. <clears throat> uh, you either need to choose long or short, right? And then here's the minimum that you need to deposit in order to execute this strategy. And once we populate the minimum, let's say we say minimum, here we get the estimation liquidation price. If you re ever reach that low, then we are out of the trade and we the, 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 the losses uh, get realized and we lose of the, of the losses going down. So that's the minimum level. Uh, the more the more you deposit, the higher the, the the lower that number can be. So if I deposit my 960, that estimation liquidation price can even go lower. So, but if we just deposit the minimum, the liquidation price is higher. So that's the idea. Now that's why it's important to set up your own stop loss here, um, so we don't ever get to that point. And then the take profit price is, is the the price that you're gonna, uh, you believe you can reach, and if you reach that, you're happy. You take the, the you take the profits uh, if you ever reach that price. All right, let's go ahead and set up one. I'm gonna choose custom. Then I believe uh, I'm gonna choose ETH, and then I believe uh, ETH is gonna appreciate. It's gonna go long, so I'm gonna go long here, and then I'm gonna click fill AI parameters. I want just to have an idea of what the defaults are here. All right, so it's saying that between 1535 and uh, 2077, uh, I wanna, I wanna uh, trade this range, a, a my tight, much tighter range. So I wanna trade 1700. So I'm gonna say 1700. 
and 2000 that's what I'm gonna be trading all right now place orders must be within the range so I'm outside the range of 65 so I'm gonna get I'm gonna click here and now on the range the maximum is gonna be 37 uh, trades the interval 8.1 USDT and then the profits per grid with the fixed deduct is 0 0.57 between 0 0.57 and 0 0.71 that's with two times the leverage. I'm gonna choose more leverage. So I'm gonna say four leverage. And now the profits uh, got increased. So see it's 1.14% and 1.42% every time one of these uh, get hit. Uh, sweet, so this is, this is good. Uh, this is the minimum. Uh, it's asking for 183 USDT. I'm gonna go ahead and, and say you know 50%. Uh, so I'm, I'm risking 50% of the 900 that I have here. That's the estimation liquidation price, estimated liquidation price. That's as low as it's gonna go. I don't wanna keep trading this if it goes below. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna trade this between uh, 1600. So stop loss for me, 1600. I wanna get out of there if it gets it that low. Uh, when the stop loss is triggered, the maximum loss you may bear is 32% of, of of this amount so 1600 is the lowest uh, and then I gotta take profit when I'm willing to just get out of this if you know for some reason ETH you know jumps and it goes all the way up when I gonna get uh, stop out I'd say let's say if I can say if it gets to 21 yeah that's it for me I'm happy I take all those profits uh, so that's pretty much it this is what I need to do to set up this bot I'm gonna head and create long here uh, this is the order confirmation for 457 USD will be transferred to your trading account to, to give the future view the bot will open a long position of 46 slots at the optimal price range or optimal price that's the pair perfect the price range or 37 orders that's how much I'm gonna make per, per grid trade uh, the estimation liquidation price uh, 1288 Stop loss for me. I don't want to get if to get lower. I'm gonna get out and assume all the losses uh, if it gets to 1600. And I'm gonna take all the profits if you get to 2100. So let's go ahead and say confirm. Perfect. Initializing and it's gonna be ready in a couple of seconds. Okay, and that's it. The bot is running. Here you can see it's blinking. Uh, it's gonna tell you the time has been running. I uh, here it says long. It's a long four times. Of 4x the the, the uh, leverage uh, you're gonna start seeing monitoring in real time the total profit the grid profit because and the unrealized the unrealized is because we haven't we haven't reached the target price this is uh, from the point uh, the entry point until the actual price right now we're losing 60 cents uh, it's gonna keep changing but the grid profits are locked every time you know one of your pr price target get hit you're gonna get uh, confirmation here and you're gonna start seeing uh, let's see in the order history here you go here and you after seeing how much profit you make on each trade on all the bots uh, grid trading um, so it's a really nice uh, thing to have here and to keep monitoring and you're gonna see accumulating your grid profits see now the price of ETH just went up a little bit so now I have unrealized PL right uh, the current price minus the average buy price uh, if we realize we're gonna get that money Right, and that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is, I guess, one of the key advantages of using uh, crypto grid bots is that uh, it removes the emotional aspect, right, of trading. We, we just emotions. We don't, you know, when you should, you should take the right position. We just forget about it. Um, there's no impulsive decisions here or missed opportunities. We just rely on automation, you know, let the bot trade for us, make profits uh, while we wait for our targets. I, I, I like it. I like this uh, automation. Let me know what you guys think and if you're going to set up any, any of these portraits, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much and i see you in the next one.